Hi everyone, in this video I am going to take you through the process of locking in and locking out off-chain ERC20 FSN to the Fusion PSN network using the Asset Gateway. To begin the process, log into your Fusion PSN wallet. I created a wallet only a few moments ago that I will use for the purpose of this video. I will log in here. I am logging in using my key store file and password. The next step is to link your Fusion PSN 2.0 wallet with your Ethereum based ERC20 wallet that holds your ERC20 FSN tokens. On day one, only ERC20 FSN will be available to lock into the PSN 2.0 network with more tokens and coins added in the near future. In the link wallet input field, please paste in your Ethereum wallet address that you would like to connect to your PSN 2.0 wallet address. Here is my Ethereum wallet address which contains 0.09 Fusion and I'm going to copy the address over to the lock-in modal and paste it in over here. The next step is to verify that you are the owner of this Ethereum address. I will be using the key store file and password to validate that I am the owner of this Ethereum address. Once our on-chain and off-chain accounts are linked, you will see the quantity of ERC20 FSN tokens displayed here in your linked balance. Next, we can begin the lock-in process. Click lock-in and display the wallet address. As explained in the text, the next step is to send the desired quantity of ERC20 FSN tokens that you would like to lock in to PSN 2.0 from your Ethereum wallet to the wallet address displayed. I will copy the address and proceed to my Ether wallet to actually execute the transaction. In this video, I am going to send 0.02 FSN to the PSN 2.0 network to be locked in. I'm going to execute the transaction. Once the transaction is executed and all of the processes running in the background are completed, we should see 0.02 displayed in the Fusion wallet balance here. This will represent the quantity of Fusion ERC20 or EFSN tokens that have been correctly locked into your account. Awesome. Here you can see my ERC20 FSN locked in within the context of the gateway screen and here you can see it within the wallet interface. The ERC20 FSN can now access all of the features and functionality of the PSN ecosystem. Now that I have shown you how to lock in off-chain assets, I would like to take you through the steps to execute lockout. To begin, select lockout from the drop-down box. The first field in this modal requests the address of the Ethereum wallet where you would like to lock out your ERC20 FSN tokens back to. I will use the same address as was used in the lock-in process. Next I will stipulate the quantity of tokens I would like to lock out. There is a 1 PFSN fee associated with the process of lockout as is shown here. Remember this is just testnet tokens. To finalize the process of lockout, the user needs to validate 
that the MyFusion wallet from which he wants to lock out ERC20, FSN, actually belongs to him. This is done by signing the transfer with your private keys. After reviewing the transaction, you are okay to proceed with lockout EFSN. This may take a few moments. Once complete, you will notice that under your Fusion Wallet balance, you now have zero displayed. The linked balance has increased by 0.02 to reflect the tokens being returned to the off-chain Ethereum account, and this should also display in, in, in my Ether wallet. Let's check. You may have to refresh. Should display 0.06, and it does. Fantastic. Thank you for watching this video about Fusion's Asset Gateway. You can review all of the transactions that were involved in the lock-in and lock-out processes by following the History tab. I hope this video was helpful and I look forward to the next one. Thank you.